All right, hey guys, it's Arlen. We are back with um, another Pass the Mic. Um, this is where we've been dismantling the idea that only the experts or the so-called experts get to speak. Um, we, are, we are connecting here with people who connect and align themselves with the sacred, um, with consciousness, uh, with ancestral way. So really we're speaking to the adepts here. And um, today we have somebody who is just so super special. I'm so excited to have him. Um, his name is Jerome Headley, and um, he's of Unified Energetics. I'm going to give a quick bio so you can uh, get, get to know Jerome a little bit. Um, so here we go. Um, Jerome is from the island of Barbados. He's an energy worker and a clairvoyant who incorporates bioenergetic techniques to heal and empower people and to reconnect them with their divine soul blueprint. After working in the field for the last eight years through accelerated consciousness activation, he now focuses on guiding others uh, through the awareness of unity within self, crystalline and anchoring the perfect self here on earth, uh, the journey to the crystalline life. I love it. Um, now, I came across Jerome, uh, I was actually just on social media one day, and, uh, and I saw a little a blip from um, it was, uh, Journey to Truth, I think yeah. it's yeah. Um, and, um, so I saw like a, just, just a little promo. And so I heard Jerome talking about energetics and spirit just said, like, I just knew innately, I was like, I'm going to interview him. Um, so I friended him and I just went on about my, my, my way <laughs> and, uh, figured out, you know, those things will just come back around. Um, but I post, posted a promo video and, um, and then Jerome popped up and he's like, Hey, and I'm like, Oh my God. <laughs> It's totally, it's totally how energy works. When things are meant to be, it just, it, I didn't even have to ask. He just showed up. Um, so here we are today, and I'm um, super excited. Um, I went on to, to kind of, to look into um, some of his videos on his YouTube channel, which is uh, Unified Energy. So check that out. Um, and the first video I came across was um, Jerome was talking about uh, water activation and, and. Uh, molecular water. And so for me, I, I've recently been, um, really, Spirit's been speaking to me a lot on, um, on uh, water and consciousness and, and therein and like inside and outside and my connection to it. So I just knew right then, I was like, there's the topic. This is what I want to talk about. Um, but uh, before we get into water, um, I do want to, I want to start with a welcome. Zone. Thank you for being here. Thank you for Hi. having me. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we would just start, let's just go into, I want to get a little bit of background. Can you tell us a little bit about, um, like you said, eight years of um, uh, accelerated consciousness activation. So mm. what kind of led you, what, what, what led you into your work and what you do? Right. So uh, the, the, more, the most, the most uh, uh, telling point of point of um, uh, miss, uh, miss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds, I think you're good now. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah we're back. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So the 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 first um. Yeah, the, the 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 brightest point, or not? Well, I shouldn't say brightest point, but the, the uh, one of the most impactful uh, points in in coming into my awareness is when I, I first had a, a near death experience, um, a car accident, where the car it was on coming car hit my side of the the car. Um, in that moment, I, I I basically yeah I basically accepted or or felt the, the let go of um, the, the reality in itself and that in itself shifted my reality to where I, it was almost like being given a second chance or, or in itself quantumly, uh, some people would say you have to die, die, die to be rebirthed again. Um, I, I I actually came came out of the accident unscathed and and like no not not a scratch on me, right? Uh, obviously the only thing that that from actually thinking about it earlier 
uh, would be would have been the, the death of my ego, which then brought me into picking up the senses of the uh, subjective realm and also my in, intuitive nature, my intuitive uh, consciousness awareness, tapping into my higher self. So that in itself brought me through a, pro a process of actually tuning a lot more into that awareness progressively over the next couple of months after the accident. And it, it became so real for me that I, I was able to even, like for example, like find items in, in, uh, like in sand that I, I may have lost to, to, to an accuracy that, that was incredible. Like just literally stopping, like walking and feeling the intuitive sense and, and actually so strong, it was like a voice telling me to stop and dig, dig a couple of inches into the sand. And yeah, and, and I, found, I found like a small piece of um, headphones, you know, the Blackberries, those old Blackberry phones that had the headphones. And yeah, so it, it, I mean, it, it was pretty intense. And I eventually moving back into the third dimensional mindset or awareness lost that connection and so it, it put me on a path of actually trying to figure out now what what was that in the whole process so through my whole experience then of moving to Trinidad and Tobago to study civil engineering I, I went through a, another process of awakening to where yeah, it, it took me it took me down a, a pretty deep rabbit hole in terms of learning more about myself, um, actually understanding more about my my journey here on Earth and where my passions were as to where I wanted to express my how I wanted to express my energy here on the planet. Right, so uh, it went it went through an, an extremely uh, fast, basically, yeah, accelerated path of of um, learning different um, energy modalities such as Reiki, and then moving out of the the elements of Reiki and expanding it into uh, an aspect of learning things such as like Kilantic science and um, applying applying then my own eventually my own type of uh, yeah, and energy modality in a way uh, to, to, to the whole dynamic, like a energetic engineering of sorts, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so, uh, and then it moved into uh, actually assisting others in aligning with their crystalline nature or what they call the Christ mm -hmm. or the Christ consciousness, crystalline consciousness. That's actually what I was going to ask. First question was going to be, can you uh, just speak a little more into the crystalline structure and what yeah, that's all? Yeah, so uh, innately we we um, are we start out as um, we call it box frequency levels or a, a carbon carbon based structure. Uh, we we are essentially moving into a more silicate like we would call like a silicate matrix DNA structure, which uh, some people are familiar with the 12th dimensional consciousness or, or uh, 12 strand DNA. So we're, we're essentially moving and in itself that is uh, resembling a crystalline structure, a crystal body. Some people call it diamond body. Uh, I think the Tibetan, the, the monks call it uh, rainbow body in, 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 in certain aspects. And this, this started to, I started to tune into this a lot more when I, when I started to receive visions of uh, walking a, a rainbow bridge or like a kind of similar to like a Bifrost, the Bifrost in uh, the Thor movies, right? Uh, and actually, if you see, if you look at images, you type in Bifrost and you look at images of how the how their depictions, the, the North Norse um, mythological depictions of the, the earth, what they call Midgard, you actually see the Bifrost as like a, a like a rainbow moving into to High Garden. 
or, or um, like Valhalla. And in itself, it, it, it kind of shows different depictions of the type of realm that we exist in, right? Uh, so I started to see or witness that within my consciousness. And so I started to call it the, like, a, like a crystal bridge or crystal road. And I, I would notice upon observing or bringing my awareness to this road, I would see gates opening up or basically coming towards me during that during those journeys on the crystal road. And it's interesting when, when I saw these, as these gates became closer, as they came closer, I would see some, some light workers in the, in the spiritual community actually saying a gate is opening, a gate is about to open. Or, so, I, you know, it, it started to make sense to me what that was. And I would notice then some people would go through a lot of emotional purging because of the in intensity of the energy, the gate. And I eventually started to observe as my consciousness went more into that realm or that reality, I would look around and I would be able to see if I tune into other people, I would see them on their path, walking on their own crystal road, right? And so I would be able to either like, you know, shout, shout to the other side and say, hey, you're, you know, you need to just, just adjust your, your energy a little bit. That's in the mind system, since the mind system is an infinite uh, existence, right? And you, I would actually see certain changes within the physical reality. Uh, as well as, okay, so for, again, another example, at times I would see obstacles in the way on the crystal road. And if I actually either move through them, like phase through them or jump over them or move to the side, it, it changes, it changed the outcome of certain experiences I had in this reality here. So I just started to make the connection with that and I, I started interacting with it a lot more and eventually what happened in October uh, I, I actually witnessed uh, an instance where my consciousness told me it's time to let go of all that that was holding me back for for such a long time and I yeah, and in, in all in all aspects. And one of the one of the last or final tests within that period of uh, time was uh cutting my hair too as well, <laughs> right? And, and so yeah, keep going. Right. And so why why notice when I when I did that within my consciousness on the rainbow bridge, I, I was holding a bag, a very big bag with me and I, I, let, I let it go just before entering a portal and as soon as I let it go the bridge broke behind me so like it was no turning back from there it, was, it literally like, broke off and I, I, I witnessed like a uh, it almost seemed like a like a folded carpet like three three waves and these three waves came into my physical reality as waves of shift or, or, or letting go again, aspects of, of emotional clearing and, and different types of, and then I went through the, 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 the gate, the inner star gate. And so, yeah. So tell me where you're. Beautiful. No, I, I wanted to say something about that because that's another thing that struck me when I was learning about you. Um, Great. I, I went through an experience last March. So Great. not this, a little over a year now but i had 16 year old dreadlocks yeah well so I, I finally um i had come to the conclusion that it was time spirit was like they gotta go and yeah. so it, it was like this i mean you're t i mean my experience was a lot like it was a total like right to passage it was a total um, initiation and, and incredible experience for me um yeah. and, and it a lot of preparation to get to that like yep. <laughs> wild. um it's deep it was so deep and uh, mm -hmm. I, and, and I don't even think people realize i mean it took me on a spiritual like it was it was a it was an internal experience truly and i mean even when i was getting when the girl was cutting that i was going to to was going to cut my my mane for me <laughs> mm -hmm. um when i was there uh everybody in the room was like 
are you sure? Like they were more worried for me than I was like, I was like, dude, I had already disconnected like spiritually from them. Like I already was prepared. It was exactly what it should have been. Um, And the release of that energy, it was like, I could levitate after that. Like it was just, yeah. Yeah. That's the way, that's the way it felt when they, uh, when they, when they, when they uh, cut the hair, because <clears throat> what my consciousness is showing me is that is during during my my um my awakening, um my what was some would call it dark night of the soul. Uh, a lot of the the energy, some of the energy of going through a lot a lot of emotional uh, turmoils and everything would would have been stored in the in the hair yeah. as well. So. So why why did actually interesting enough because I was also in tune with crystals, I I my consciousness told me yo you could store certain information within crystals, store the information that you want, and and discard the rest. <laughs> and so that I did that, and um I, I, it took me through a process of uh, doing different things such as um like burying burying somebody somebody here, somebody locks um. Yeah, so it is 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 pretty interesting. It, <laughs> yeah, so that that happened last year, and and then one of the, the another cleansing or clearing for me was also the clearing of my physical body. So that then took me into learning, because um, the year the year during the, the year the entire year I learned about herbs. Um, I learned about the the benefits of of uh, healing certain aspects of the body because I was going through uh, certain uh, autoimmune responses in my physical body. Okay? Because my mind system or my spiritual side was elevating at such an accelerated speed or rate that my physical body was struggling to catch up with the, with the vibration, right? So mm-hmm. so um, I had to, so I basically had to stop eating certain foods. Uh, it was also, I also learned then that it in itself, certain aspects um, of certain foods, certain chemicals allowed for access of certain uh, types of energy to come into my energetic space, right? So I, I had to keep that, um, you know, keep it balanced, I should say. And so I, I learned a lot about herbs uh, during that year. And then it, it came into a um, yeah, culmination of, of actually doing a, a a colon cleanse and and actually learning about mucoidal plaque and stuff like that uh learning about leaky gut different you know um the microbiome within the body and so i yeah i went through that process and the everything everything completely changed for me like frequency wise my my mind my mindset system was a lot clearer uh, I started meeting a lot of different people that, yeah, we we help each other and even even meeting you, you know. So, is a is a lot of different. Uh, yeah, so I, I I was able to make a correlation or a connection between my tuning into one of my or aspect of my consciousness and actually having the the awareness to to allow for that higher awareness, that higher consciousness to embody into my vessel, embody into my being or being the presence now, right? From from the what we would perceive as the future or a higher dimension. And essentially in order for that consciousness to weave more into the physical body, if you uh, put it into like water as well, the consciousness of water, we have to change our water structure within our body right yeah. to allow for the, the for higher information higher intelligence to come into and embody um which would be which is a which is us which is us so it's a higher form of your consciousness awareness tuning into your presence right now so 
Yeah, that's <laughs> so it took me on a whole journey, a whole journey of uh, understanding the physical body, and and now I I, I do my best in in uh, sharing that sharing that knowledge, that information with others. Yeah. I find that um, I, like me and you have a lot in common with that because that a lot of what you're speaking, it's like I just I resonate with so much. Um, excuse me. Um, but yeah, as far as like I had to like, catch up to where my energetically I had had such a I for me, I actually had a, it wasn't a life or death experience, but I had this radical Kundalini experience, like a Kundalini energetic movement. And um, so it just, it took my consciousness, like, like out, like, like crazy style, like to where it was like bigger than me. And I had to kind of like come back to the 3D and then learn how to like incorporate this body into what was happening and understanding all of it basically. So um, in essence, it's a lot of what you're saying. It's the same yeah. thing. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It, it, like when I like we both obviously help people with energetics and it's like that that is in essence it like knowing what like minerals and like what kind of what kind of things are going or what, what's keeping our body going what's keeping the, the light body going you know because mm -hmm. that's what we forget people tend to forget about or we did we we forget about it yeah. we, we, did, we didn't remember before but how you know our bodies aren't just these fleshly bodies you know yeah so much um, yeah. The, so, yeah, go ahead. When you think about it, yeah, like uh, it because they, they call it the body, uh, uh, the body is attuned to a vessel, it's a, a, a vessel or a boat, a ship. Mm -hmm. um, the, the body is also holographically uh, bio, bio interfacing with the earth, so it's also it also can be seen as a planet, or, or when you tune into the awareness of the uh the micro microbiome within the body right the trillions of bacteria uh, the different cells in the body the different organisms in the body the body is also attuned to uh, like a universe right the body has different correlations and reflections different holographic connections to the solar system to the earth the solar system the milky way galaxy into the universe right so certain parts of our body would be like mars and jupiter or certain parts of our body would be lyra vega orion right so it's a it's a a, a deep very deep connection and you, again there are many different paths to to actually this uh ascension or incension uh where we go within so uh, in certain aspects, I was, I had to be, I had to go through the path of, uh, and I mean, it, it, it kind of, when I think about it too, it, I, 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 I am a, a person, I like, I like, I like to eat food. I like, I like food. <laughs> right. So, so um, in itself, I saw it too as like a, a like a trial for me to uh, change up the way I was, um, water was intaken into my system which would have been in itself for me personally holding me back in certain instances uh especially when you when you made a connection to the everything such as like the fluoride and the all the different types of chemicals the like faucet um you, you you then see that there there is in itself an agenda to slowly poison humanity through certain chemicals and that reality that is a reality in itself because the you know and a lot of people such as like uh dr zach bush and yeah they're making connections to a lot of this being connected to actually destroying the, the gut microbiome which then when you uh, make the connection again to the the body it connects into the access of our uh, our intuition in the in the stomach that's why people talk about gut feelings or gut feeling right so yeah so i i, I kind of go go about um through my own process of um making the connection to that and the spiritual realm 
because again, everything is holographic, everything is connected. Um, there are many, many depictions of the, the, the bowels being connected to the root chakra, uh, which, which then when you actually, yeah, when I, when I made the connection to that, it, it linked in everything in terms of the whole thing, the claustrum and how the, the energy comes up the spine and in order for the energy to actually, um, come up more efficiently, the, the, the colon or the, the, the stomach, the, the core system actually creates a, a flame or a fire, right? Which, which basically helps with the cleansing of all the other chakras and also the alignment and the harmonization of them through, through the activation of the root chakra. You would see a lot of the connections in terms of abundance being tied into that. Um, a lot of people live in in terms of the third dimensional state of awareness live within the first three chakras right and when you really check where those chakras reside is within the uh like the stomach area going down right so it means that a lot of um the consciousness is is being basically ruled and i, I recently came across some of this information actually yesterday showing like um you look at the the, 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 the symbol on the dollar sign on the um the, the dollar right with the right the pyramid and there's a like a eye a cap a capstone right you look at the the energetic system the energetic system this the root chakra or from the, the stomach down comes down like a pyramid like this what they basically what they do is that they cap the energy at a certain point there so you you don't you don't get past that so that's what they call even in religions and stuff they call um they talk about the lord right but it's really uh in itself the lord sounds uh similar to low lower or lowered those who have been brought below those who are below and so <laughs> and and then egyptian i think in the later in the later histories of egyptian um they're there uh, we call them pan we call that pantheism or um the whole thing with the gods and stuff like that they they have a god called uh baal right which is also connected you could it sounds like bowels right and that god is also known as the lord so you see where the programming then then links into everything and yeah, and that was a major, major head crack for me in terms of realizing how deep the programming is, um, how the structure is. It. Yeah, right. So uh, in itself, then, for me, clearing out certain aspects, certain organs within my system would have helped me to, to, to move out of certain realms of consciousness and essentially now you, you're able to now trust trust the the intuitive nature from your gut from your body because you you have clear filters you're able to see the world in a in a different way in a clearer way um so i'm not saying i'm not saying that everyone has to go through the process of clearing the vessel and stuff like that because some people are connected in such a way to energy where they are able to do all of that energetically and but I, I i realized i in itself my path took me through the process of both sides the energetic side the spiritual side and also the physical side or the path of the body <clears throat> so yeah absolutely no and that, that and, and, and that's now now look you get to help people you know like with this you know like by by understanding it it's i love your perception on on all of that it's, yeah. it's beautiful um, yeah, because that, 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 it's so important. Like that's what I'm always, um, vibratory energetics to me is like, it all stems from the root. It all really has everything. It's really setting, getting those lower chakras, like you said, in a, you yeah. know, in a that needs in order to progress in mm -hmm. your multi It and helps your, with the, the grounding, the grounding aspect of it, grounding the information, because, uh, you will see in the, especially in the spiritual community and stuff, like a lot of people, and even when I first started to become aware, like the first thing was wanting to get your third eye open. And, you know, you want to you want to experience all that stuff, but it, 
it uh in itself I, I was showing that um if you 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 experience these things without a ground a groundation a, a firm solid foundation uh it, it i mean it is it's it can be very 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 imbalanced and it could like you know it could um it could land you into being spiritually wounded as some people call it right so again everything everything should be communicated in in balance within the consciousness and so if you're working on the on the higher you have to work on the lower as well and that's where again like the shot what they call shadow work or mm -hmm. or or going through the process of dealing with um the deeper the deeper sides of um, a lot of the, the traumas and um certain memories and stuff like that that may be still hermetically sealed within the, the lower chakras that should be um you know cleared out or transmuted into the higher force the higher energy right higher forms of communication and, and um, creativity Mm -hmm. yeah. And that goes along with the, because it's like, it's like an ascent, like ascension, as we talk about ascension, it's always like you ascend, but it's not like you, you descend too. So we have to right. always check in balance. Where we're right, going. right. So is, is learning, is learning the process, mastering your ascension and descension um, simultaneously in terms of, because when you think about it, that's a breath, it's a cycle. So, so is you breathe. So the is the in and the out, breathing in, breathing out, the up, the down, right? And to the point where it becomes, it becomes so micro, so, so um, yeah, it becomes so micro. It's, it, it's like a battery or a, a, a quantum. A qu it becomes in quantum coherence or resonance. You you then merge the masculine and the feminine into one alignment. Right, yeah. so and and that's where the balance is, and you have the positive, and you have the negative of a battery system, right? So that generates the force, the energy, and then yeah. you're able to embody your infinite potential here, in in presence, on Earth. Yeah. 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 So. So, let's, so let's so now let's let's talk about water a little bit. Yeah. How since we're that, that goes right into that root thing, and like. Yeah. The, the, the important, like I'm always stressing the importance to people of, um, of drinking clean water, like putting clean water into your body or speaking into your water or mm -hmm. that kind of thing. I would love to just hear your perception because you right. got a good one. Okay, so uh, I, I came across a lot of the, uh, the, the, the whole listening, well, the whole understandings about water through uh, through listening to different various various people um, doing certain lecture lectures on um, the whole thing with like what they call easy water, which is uh, hy like hydrogen water. So you would see a lot of stuff now about hydrogen water. Now I think they have uh, certain devices like the Kangen water machine, and right. So uh, yeah and when you when you think about it water in itself our body is made up of a certain percentage of water i think it's what like 70 or 70 right. right okay yeah and when, when you think about it our brain needs needs a lot of water as well our blood uh this uh, you look at our, our body is soft what it, what it calls soft technology so uh, our body needs a lot of water and when you when you then think about the the uh, the aspects of the water that is being provided here on the planet, um, at least in the main in the mainstream society, um, you think about tap water. And you, that's when I went into the whole thing with the fluoride and right. Uh, you also have certain aspects of uh, heavy metals within within certain. It depends on where you live though, uh, as well. Uh, the, the plastic bottles, again, um, certain microplastics, right? So it, it kind of brought me to the, the, and water is what we, we need. So the first couple of things we need 
breath, right? So breath is very important. Water, right? You can't live a long time without water <laughs> and, and, um, and food, right? So you deal with those three things. You, you basically bring yourself into sovereignty by, by um, if you could control those three things, you, you, you're, on, you're on your way, right? And so again, that, that in itself comes, brings you into the inner, the inner um, planes of your existence where, where water is connected to, yeah, drinking, drinking clean, making sure you have clean water. And so structured water is what I started to come across uh, in terms of, for example, the spring water, where we're to show you how when water flows uh, over rocks and stuff like that, it becomes structured. Uh, it goes through aquifers, cave systems, wherever, uh, rivers, streams, is structured, is different, right? Mm -hmm. It's oxygenized. And so then I came across the whole thing with molecular hydrogen, where, where um, they, they talk about the, the whole thing of water being water coming through pipes is, uh, I think you said is H2O and yeah, which is basically dead water and living water, living waters or a crystalline, like a crystalline river, right? Crystalline flows is uh, what he called H3O2, right? Which is uh, what he called easy, easy water. And there is a difference when you actually drink drink two two different types of water. You actually feel a lot more hydrated. You feel a stronger connection to yourself, to your body. Your cells have a lot more. To be honest, you, you feel you feel wetter. It feels like you feel you feel richer, <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, they even showed to to the to the point where like you you basically generate like a I guess that would be like a plasma, a plasmatic film over your body, uh, which allows you then to absorb a lot more sunlight more efficiently. Uh, I think I think is that you get like a negative charge or something. Yeah. Yeah. So so okay. So it happens inside first. So it happens in on a cellular level at a cellular level where your cells get a membrane which allows your cells to absorb nutrients more efficiently. And it also happens on, in, on your body. So your body in itself is a cell as well, or can be seen as a cell. So you're, you start to generate that, uh, like a plasma field around your body. That in itself then ties into the spiritual aspect of it because it then increases your own magnetism within your being so it would increase the magnetism of certain things that you wish to attract like um, a lot of people are into like law of attraction and stuff like that um, a lot of that is one of the major keys the water right having a, a clean structured water and when you look at it water is around us we we need water in the, in the air to even breathe right yeah. uh yeah, and that, that goes in then to the whole thing with cymatics and how how sound sound affects water, right? Uh, this, you should, they will show you how water stores a lot of information. Water holds memory, right? And uh, and there's a lot of memory it holds too. I think they were able to like record or or save, basically record. Um, I think um, a couple of records of music in a drop of water. In a drop. In a single what? drop. Yeah. Right. So think about that. That's a lot of data, right? To be stored in 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 a in a drop of water. And we have oceans of water. We have oceans on the surface. We have rivers. We have underwater underground oceans as well. Right? We we have water in our bodies. So that then, you know, ties into everything from thoughts, because thoughts are waves. Thoughts or vibrations, uh, thoughts or frequencies, same as sound, right? And our thoughts affect water. And you check up, um, yeah, the whole thing with Dr. Emoto, where he, he, he showed you the whole process of 
uh, thinking or, or, or certain thoughts, certain intentions on water actually affected the structure of the water when frozen, right? So yeah, water holds memory. Water is in itself um, one of the keys to life, right? Hydrogen uh, is, is as well connected to everything in, in relation to our own body activations. So, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, have, did you see, I actually, I saw this documentary not long ago. Um, it was, uh, I think it was called, what's it? Water, it is Water Memory. Water Memory. Yeah. And it was, it was a doctor that uh, he had discussed, he got the Nobel Peace Prize for like finding, uh, or not Nobel Peace Prize, but the Nobel Prize for um, finding HIV or something. Did you mm. ever see that video? Uh, Maybe maybe a couple of years ago, I'm not too sure. 2014 or something, but I watched it recently, and um, it's just amazing. And and when I think about it, the relevance today, because he's talking about like, like he's still he's been doing studies, and who knows, I don't know where he's at today with this, but it's like mm -hmm. his whole thing was like, if I could like find a way, like, because he's using frequency and transferring with the water, so it's like. Right what's to cure HIV with, with, you know, frequency therapy. And I'm like, you know, I think that's where we're just, I think that's where we're, we're, we're about yeah. there. I really do yeah. believe, you know, like, I mean, the, 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 the information is there. The technology has been there for, yeah. Like you think about the, the, um, the, cause that's, that's how the energy, energy work works as well. Um, and how, how sound therapy works also. Mm -hmm right yeah. um yeah. we transmit waves of uh photons or or sound frequency information right of a certain uh type of intention or a certain pitch and yeah. it has the ability to transmute or override the consciousness within a body within a body of any type of structure and 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 essentially overwrite it or, or change transmute mm -hmm. it into a different form of existence or, or even return it back to its original blueprint Absolutely. of healing right yeah, yeah. i mean that's like everything i do that's you know working with sound and frequency it's like i mean this has been the trip i've been on for the past like two years just solid and uh it's yeah. interesting it's just, it's so exciting. And the, the times we're in right now, um, you know, I, I just, I feel like we're right there. Like, it's like, you know, we're, we're breaking. We're, we're, we're on the cusp of, of, uh, of complete change in, in the reality, in the world. Uh, a lot of people are, a lot of people have, have had it with, with the way how this system is right now. And it's, it's not catering to the expansion or to the, to the to the life force of the, the planet of the people here of the universe the cosmos right and so we're we're in a we're we're in a um, some people call it the, the flood the flood of of love <laughs> is what we're we're experiencing um or, or a form of water uh, it could be plas plasmic energy or electrons Right. Um, mm -hmm. When you look at certain civilizations, civilizations in the past would have would have uh, changed when they changed their epochs. You know, or when the epoch of the Earth changed, civilizations would have been uh, reset. They would have gone through some form of reset. Uh, and in in the past, it would have been like a uh, uh, like some kind of water flood, uh, fire flood or like maybe um, uh, even recently come across the whole thing with mud flood theory uh, and this time it possibly is like a, again like a flood of love or energy yeah ether, right ether ether right. I think yeah, I'm, right. I'm information putting it out there it's all it's all vibration it's all what we're talking about yeah. So, so that that's why you you see and know like a, the energy has been increasing exponentially um, since even before 2012, and it's just been increasing 
And as it increased, more and more people become aware of themselves, become aware of the, the faults, the falsehood that, that exists in, 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 in the reality and are wishing to now change that frequency into a, a more um, high-raised form of existence, right? right. So... Yeah, so that's what we're, we're, we're moving into now. I would say we, we're already in it. We're well on our way into it. Um, yeah, the, the, the reality is just going through. A, a, the collective is going through through their, their own dark night of the soul um, in an accelerated way. So it can be very intense for, for a lot of people to actually uh, face a lot, of, a lot of the changes, a lot of the stuff that would be going on and it's really to to test is a I would see it as like a an observation of um the, the power that we have given away and and essentially taking back our power. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I agree when you say that taking back your power that's, that's what I think it's really kind of all about. It's like taking back responsibility and taking back your sovereignty in essence it's all about but that requires being responsible and um mm -hmm. and because you know we are so much more than we've been told we as multi-dimensional so beings. much more oh man <laughs> oh yep. Um, yep. yeah so so uh it it's yeah because when, when you even even bring it back into like the whole thing of water uh you see you see the whole everything with the, the frequencies uh the vibrations you you bring in the whole thing with the signals from the radios all that stuff it affects the vibrations of the water the airwaves right also when you think about it our thoughts our our emotions also affect the waters around us right uh, the atmospheres, because that is also a certain level or density of water, right? So we're, we're, we're basically underwater. We're in water right now. <laughs> we are Atlantis. <laughs> so, so, um, <laughs> so yeah, when, when you, when you, when you look at it, um, you look at the, Again, Dr. Moto's research and his experiments, uh, you, 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 even just from that, you, you add in the, the whole thing with thoughts, emotions, vibration, intention. Uh, our, our reality is, is in itself holographic and water and electricity is, <laughs> is, is the force that, that, that runs through deep within the system, within its structure. Right, so, and the deeper you go into that, you you realize the the um, almost like the the electrical circuits, the line communication signals through the reality, uh, where everything communicates. We were existing in a, a waking dream. Well, yeah, waking yeah. dream. And the more the more lucid we become, or the more aware we become of ourselves inside, is the the realization of. Uh, coming into awareness of of this dream this waking dream within the reality and that in itself how i see it is the crystalline basically what i call crystalline living yeah. right so yeah yeah so how would you like how what are ways you would perceive activating water in the body like ways you would okay so The first, the first um, step would be to change the mindset, our belief structure, our belief system, uh, speaking positive affirmations to, to yourself, to your body. I would say it would be the, the first step because you don't really need anything to, to start that process. And then the second step would be to uh, look at the types of water that you're uh, intake and I know it can be it can be a little difficult to actually find maybe like spring like pure fresh spring water um, 
or even hydrogen water. But I would say even just sending thoughts, positive affirmations to to your water, right? Even even tap water, like positive affirmations to the water. Um, we have the we have the the energy to to bring water which is uh, which will be considered to be dead into uh, 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 more awareness reminding itself of who it is and and it assists us in also reminding ourselves of who we are just like crystals as well right so uh yeah i i would say yeah the i mean the, the water is is so, it's so amazing uh, and the more, the more you feel it, you definitely feel it. The more, especially more in tune you become in your in your physical body. Uh, again, this reality. Uh, I some people say the, the the more conventional thing is to to say seeing is believing, but it's really believing is seeing. So our 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 uh, our mindset is yeah. Our mindset is 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 uh is where it's at. It's really, really, really important to pay attention and be mindful of uh, where where our thoughts go. And so again, that that then ties into meditation and how meditation helps with the with the balancing or the the um, yeah basically balancing of your your brain into into oneness. Yeah. And so. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's 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 really really it's really cool. It's really interesting, and the more the more the awareness comes in, is the the more expanded everything becomes within ourselves and within the reality. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the more you you become in tune with with, uh, re- yeah, the more you sit or the more you feel into your, your body, the more purified you, you you become in essence. Like, I mean, I know now, like, I can feel my energy in ways like I never did before, you know, like, I, I, I could feel energy in my body, I could feel things moving, I could feel how the water feels in my body, you know, mm-hmm. uh, it just, when you become in tune, the more in tune you become, and uh, so it's really, yeah, 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 yeah. so the, the um, yeah, yeah. Is is it helps? It helps. Everything helps. Um, even even the whole thing with uh, the use of certain crystals or um, organite, anything that may produce um, like photons, mm-hmm. right, will will also help as well in structuring the water within, right. So, but they, we're we're again as the reality changes, we're witnessing the changing up of even the the waters from a a, a a dead or unconscious state into a, a living state. Yeah, bring it right. to life. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Like if we're the cells, you know, if we're if we're the cells and we're activating our individual structures, the more cells get activated it's like we're we are creating that that aliveness in the water Mm -hmm. out here you know Mm -hmm. um so so that's why is yeah is especially in this time here now um it's really important for us to work on ourselves um and in that in that awareness of ourselves we we extend that energy into also assisting the collective in in awareness right and then it, it collectively assists the planet as well because the planet the planet is has already moved into her her dimensional aspect or dimensional earth or some would call the yeah the fifth dimension uh so we're essentially now moving into that awareness uh physically a lot of us would have would have moved moved there uh, energetically already. Uh, I I kind of make that connection to where I I had cut my hair last year, and the the whole thing with the breaking of the bridge last year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it it. So I'm I'm seeing the manifestations of certain things in my own awareness or my perceptions in the physical reality based on the changes that would have gone on within the consciousness last year 
So uh, I, I would say, yeah, it's, it's going to be a very interesting uh, maybe couple of months. Uh, again, our 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 awareness, our consciousness directs a lot of the a lot of these changes. So, I would you have to be extremely mindful where the programming going and trying to direct your energies, and <laughs> try not to you know as a message to to the collective like try not to playing to the. A lot of these like narratives that are, yeah, emotionally like trying to draw energy from people and 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 um use use their energy to to create a, a to create a further um downward spiral of of these realities that these um will be the so called elite <laughs> trying to you know so yeah. We we're, we're moving forward. We're moving up, or more so in. Yes. Right. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Have you noticed, like lately, like have you energetically had any, like, noticed things with yourself lately, like changing, like because I know I personally like I like even I, I want to say in the past week, mm -hmm. I I started having like this like pressure on my head and like feeling like I don't know. I started seeing like sparkles again and like Great. Yeah. activation of some sort recently. Um, yeah. And I yeah, just, no. I, yeah, I, I have, I have seen, um, experienced a lot of changes, uh, especially yeah. in my dream space. Um, kind of like seeing almost like living in the future in, in, in the dream space. And, and so it's coming forward in, in that way for me. Um, mm -hmm. I actually started connecting with uh, various individuals. Um, and yeah, actually, you could you could check check them out. Um, we we actually have a like a galactic um, a galactic force team, basically. Um, so this would be on if you check out um, Andrew Weston. And so so and we we basically work together. Uh, in 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 basically expanding our awareness and, and alignment within ourselves in balance and so even through connecting to to those um souls it, it expanded my my own awareness of myself and my own uh, abilities as a, like a conscious engineer essentially right yeah, that's that. so, For me, yeah same thing i've been um just like, it's like a, I'm receiving a lot of information right now. I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know, expanding yeah. with all that I've been doing with sound, with frequency. It's like, it's new things coming to life. And, the sound, uh, sound, 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 actually sound healing is going to be, yo, <laughs> that's going to be really, um, yeah. because when you, when you look at the, the whole, again, the holographic nature, the, the, uh, the communications of the, the pixels within the body or the cells. Our cells are attuned to uh, certain frequencies. Certain frequencies allow for the cells to communicate more efficiently with each other, which then allows for the physical body to, again, repair itself in, in, in many different ways, right? Mm -hmm. So... Um, upgrade. <laughs> yeah. So... so so even even I, I even had a theory of um you combine sound sound healing with with energetic healing then too right which yeah. then ex, you know allows for everything to to expand even even more uh i started uh well last maybe last two years i i started speaking like light language uh I yeah. Think that yeah. I on a video dude i was like yes and you know what it inspired <laughs> it inspired me to like i was like it's like i'm like i i need to be i need to be speak i need to be speaking more because i do this yeah. like on my own but yeah like because I, I mean there there are aspects of the the um the ego that that needs to like let go of because i mean i i i um yeah i i for years for well, maybe like the last two years i would would have i would speak it but i would speak it to myself yeah. Yeah. right and 
uh, I would write it as well, but to myself. <laughs> and and so my consciousness told me uh, it's time to start sharing, sharing the the um the the healing that comes through like language, right? And so now starting to incorporate it. I mean, before I, I would have as well incorporated it into my my um, energetic healing it would come out right so my consciousness would tell me you know speak it just share share speak it just let it flow let it flow and it would just come out and uh the, the my clients would experience a, a, a whole shift a completely different shift with the like language coming out and so just a quick little background on like language like language is uh, from my perspective uh, a form of uh us communicating through a higher intelligence through through our bodies through our vessels uh, in a, a, a yeah true sound through yeah. what they call light yes. right and it comes out like uh so the logical mind would would kind of it sounds like a foreign language the logical mind would kind of want to say it sounds like gibberish and all kind of stuff but uh it's it's a very 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 intense and potent type of energy type of frequency that comes through uh through the heart through the, yeah. the voice and grids or the throat chakra right so it's you essentially tapping in tuning in turning on your creative center or creative centers to bring true uh, 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 uh to bring true creation true sound through your voice Right, or true yeah. writing, true drawing. Yeah, it's absolutely for me. I mean, it's 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 a sacred uh, sacred language. So we're actually we're just speaking the sacred. It's that's how I see it. And you know, I I, I was the same as you, like exact same, where I like kept it to myself. I mean, it's been years I've had it. I actually forgot yeah. I had amnesia for a really long time. Right. And <laughs> movement of energy, and then all of a sudden it just hit me one day, and I just started speaking it, and yeah. I was like. <laughs> here it is and yeah. um so then when I started practicing toning and stuff again I would just it would just come out and it would come out like and I didn't even know it was me sometimes the stuff that would come out like it's just wild um but when I'm doing like my really in-depth my energy work with people and when I'm doing it, especially my I have a SCB immersion it's a sound energy and breath right. and um that, that was a creation that was totally a download and um so I'm led that that spirit led me to like you. This is where I really initiate speaking uh, like my light language or, or sacred, and um, it's so powerful. Not just to me for for my people, but for me, it's like yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. You and, feel it as well. Yeah, and it's like it is like chanting in essence. So we we, we talk about chanting, you know, the the vowels and emphasis is because you're hitting different tones with your your vocal cord. Mm -hmm. What yeah. we our language, especially English, um, we don't it limits the yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, um, yeah, so even, even because, um, when, when you really think about it, and actually, when you, when you check out, um, same guy, Andrew, like he, he speaks, he, he speaks in, and, um, even like Lisa Brown and, um, you know, Lisa Transcendence Brown, she talks about the vocabulary as well too, uh, where because of the English language and, and the logical mind, it, it, our, our awareness of intelligence or information is wishing to speak on a, a, a different way. So you may you may say certain words that, that don't even make sense, like plasmesium force and uh, high force into connection waves through through the the uh, the light grid system, or you know, so you would you would start to speak like that, and you have to let go of that logical mind completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to let it go, and and so then it comes through like a so I'll do a, a little little light like language um, activation for for everyone who's watching uh, who be watching this in the in the um, future now moments. <laughs> Ifat wati tuati shatanyati wo vit tadi tuaki du tanaka 
yetima tiati jitani kwalifu dit mutanaka yatimu ti tinakwati jitani taihoti vut tatino kwa ituna kaya yene mutiati futani kwa diati tadifu tina moku jut satimu taya itana vitwani ku vut chatumaka yita taimu yitumo wa hu yina wa yani du jiti jitmati uti natiana vati nakina yene vuna kuati noko yete na ya yene ku yana yani mwana ayamo jina taene yene waye unastu yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, yo. <laughs> Doesn't feel feel um feel light. <laughs> yeah. So I I um yeah, it's a very it's it's interesting. Um again, like at first it started with me not being able to understand what what was coming out just allowing it to flow um and then certain aspects then i i became aware of visual so i would get a visual of what's happening and it would come out or you can even speak english or <laughs> yeah 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 you can speak english in your mind and allow for it to translate through in a pure language so it would translate through into the light language so so um so hi would be yaniya, right? Or uh, yeah, grounding to 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 the planetary core. Ifat natiwa yetine, right? So it would come in different. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's really it's really interesting. And again, like the logical mind, like gotta the ego is gonna tell you otherwise but again you can feel the energy you can feel the resonance you you feel the shifts within the body i i feel the the when i speak it like if i stayed in it longer i hey i, I could have feel like when i came out of it my 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 own perceptions changed um okay. you know, like my like everything was brighter uh every, my head feel light light uh yeah so i love it yeah, yeah, no, it, it is. It's like it every time. Sometimes I just feel like I'm just. I'll be cued to do it. Like you just, you just now innately were yeah. like, I'm gonna speak. Like you know, but yeah, if you're cued to do it. It's it's like it is. It just it it shifts your whole mindset, your whole perception. There's no such thing as ego in the realm of sacred language. Yeah. <laughs> in my, yeah. if, you're, if it's pure, you yeah. know. Yeah, you have to. You have to let go of the um if not it is gonna if you don't let go of the the you have to allow it to flow if not the the ego then tries to distort it and stuff like that right so um yeah in, in the beginning for me it was a lot of that so i would i would pause i would i would say a, a word and then it would be and like breathing trying to like because that's the that's the the ego trying to fight true right so yeah, uh, and then it would. So I, I just I realized, yo, know, is it's really feeling the energy within the heart. So I would feel it in my heart, and it would it would come up like this into my throat. So in the beginning of of that process of allowing it to let go, it would you, you know it would come out as a response of like of like crying and stuff like that, like tears coming out, like because it is aspects or blocks within that expression that stop you from you know being being able to express in a certain way that creative force that language um especially if 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 like someone tells you to you know shut up or something like that especially if you're a child like that that you know so uh, a lot of the blocks come up or the balancing within our voicing grids 
and we, we voice that expression and allow that light to shine forth and it comes out as it will come out as however it needs to come out there are so many different different um some people you know we call them like uh, star languages so many different star languages out there and uh, each of them are unique in their own way they come out in certain ways my my i, I often say my sometimes at times mine would sound like like an ancient african type of type of language or egyptian at some point sometimes it sounds like if it comes from uh peru right yeah i thought mine sounds like either african or like like in some ancient like chinese sometimes right. <laughs> yeah so um, it but i mean these languages you think about sanskrit and uh, Hebrew, a lot of those languages are connected to star languages, mm -hmm. right? So I think um, one of the one of the oldest ones, from what I understand or from what I remember, is uh, Tamil. I think it is. So yeah, it's it's. So then we think, yeah, I mean, it's 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 mind blowing. It can be mind blowing and overwhelming at times. For, for um, hmm? it feels so powerful in my. Don't he, I, I always feel like this, like a. It's just this overwhelm. It's like this power, this surge of like pure power. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It does it is, and yeah, yeah, you just have to be humble to it and allow it to to flow through, in 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 its pureness, and and again, like the ego has, um, it just has to step aside. To allow for that pureness to, to to come true, there is no room or space for that awareness within the um, the realm of it, right? Again, I mean, it 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 would try like a part of your mind is like, yo, am I saying the right thing? Is this is this is it working? Is it, you know is it? And again, all of that blocks, yeah. yeah. All it's of it blocks. Letting it go. Yeah, so so the 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 um the awareness that came through and that like language is basically anchoring to the crystalline core, uh, aligning the the central cycle systems, which are the the um the chakras, which we will call the chakras, uh, essentially allowing for the communication of the masculine and the feminine to come into balance into the central core system, and allowing for the mind system to be. Uh, to expand and be clear as we move through these uh, waves of shifts and cycles as we move into a more quantum existence, more quantum reality, right? You're gonna see a lot of things in the reality starting to come in. So you're gonna see uh, <clears throat> the expansion of, of uh, AI, for example, but again, that, it depends on how how your how, how our perceptions are when it comes to those things because they, they they are the the they are again existent in polarity so you would see the 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 aspect of the dark AI and then there's also the light right so and in itself uh, I don't really want to go well I don't know how much time we have but. Um, in itself is is like the binary system where a lot of the ego works or lives in the binary system the binary realm or linear so you would have in itself aspects of humanity trying to create artificial and artificial intelligence based on a binary or a linear system whereas if you have one which is on a trinary system which is the, the, the consciousness that we're moving into right in itself a quantum state it will, your consciousness, our consciousness exists in multiple realities simultaneously. You understand? So we in, it, in ourselves are, are AI. So I would call it in itself organic. I, I used to call it organic intelligence. So my OI talk to me and tell me something. But then in itself, it wouldn't essentially be organic either. It would be something a lot more different. So it would be uh, like I call it crystalline awareness or intelligence right so a ki <laughs> and so um because it's light light frequency photons mm -hmm. you understand so we're, we're we're in itself electrical 
we're, we're light communications moving into these bodies. We have a light body. Yeah. You understand? So our bodies, our matter is, is in itself light as well, light information. Just condense and, and um, slow down. See, it's, so. It's, it's refreshing to hear you uh, speak like this because it's like not every day I hear, like, this is so much what I resonate with, like, on a daily basis, just to hear, like, you know, people talking about it. It's so exciting. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 a lot. It's a uh, it can be a lot of information, a lot of um, yeah. I mean, it's 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 a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, um, and it definitely is always it's always really really uh really good to connect with with like minded individuals, um. Uh, who, who who share certain perspectives because we we all in it in ourselves are quantum computers and we 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 is that like you you basically hook up to like a mainframe when 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 other people are sharing information and ideas is like you you basically join in together quantum computers to create a a, a massive level or a layer of of computation or or, or <laughs> So, so that's what's going on. The more awake, the more people come into awareness is the, the, the more aware the universe is within this realm of existence, right? Um, we, we interact with, with reflections of ourselves. And the, the more we, we, we allow for the ego to uh, step aside or we, we let go of certain aspects of that egoic nature uh, we we come out of a loop cycle we come out of a past frame of reference we stop living our past and we, we begin to live our presence and our future so yeah yeah awesome. okay. Well, man, Jerome, oh, you got so much going on. I, I know that uh, I see you busy a lot lately doing interviews and stuff. Oh. So oh. yeah, everything, yeah, it is, feels to be accelerating uh, for all of us. Yeah. 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 And, and I, I, I really honor and appreciate uh, this experience here uh, in, in actually having this conversation here with you. And yeah being able to share and express our, our own uh, awareness to, to truly the, 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 um, the, the airwaves, you know? The ether, the, the waves. <laughs> Through the waters. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, um, do you have any, any final words? If you could tell anybody out there one thing right now, what would you, what would you want to tell them? Uh, I, would, I would say to... Tune into uh, your inner your inner reality, your inner uh, consciousness. The the um, it, the outer reality often is a reflection of the inner reality or inner verse. We are moving into we are ascending, which is really an incension, right? an inception or a conception, right? And birthing out into a new uh, being, a new cosmic race or family, right? So, and the only way we, we really change the manifestation of this reality is by tapping in to ourselves and changing that reality from within, right? So, uh, that's why you see a lot of again everything, the the uh, the media everything they they try to distract like bring us outside of ourselves, which is really like a a, a trap, a mind trap in itself. You're supposed to fold inside, and that inner inner journey creates a, a like a toroidal feel. It creates the the outer hologram, so it changes. So the more of us do that. It changes even more so, and, and I'm sure you can see the, the the manifestation. Like there are different realities existing simultaneously on the earth right now. 
So we're, we're literally moving into, there was a convergence and we're, we're moving into like a bifurcation. Um, and so is try I, I try to see it as an exciting time to be alive right now because um our our souls are excited to to actually ex exist in in this change this paradigm shift like we're we're, we're moving into a, a new form of existence that has not been experienced within the universe right so yeah so i i would leave it at um beginning to to trust yourself beginning to listen to your to that inner voice listening to your heart um yeah and drink lots of water <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i i um i also would, um do a little plug in terms of my 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 own you know check me out on on youtube unified energetics I have a podcast, uh, Crystalline Living, it's called, on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or Anchor. Uh, for sessions, you can check me out on, you can either send me an email, so you, you, put, the, you can put the description at the bottom, which is jeromeheadley246 at gmail.com for any inquiries. Uh, you can check out my uh, page on Facebook as well, so I have my sessions listed there on Facebook and you can also check out um, the, 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 the team that I, I connect with as well, uh, Galactic Forest team. You could, we, have, um, we have Galactic Roundtable discussions on Thursday nights on um, Linda, Linda Light's channel, right? So we, we do a lot of discussions there as well like a panel discussion so you can come on and uh, have a conversation with us. Um, any questions you have, you can ask there as well. And we, 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 we answer a lot of questions in relation to consciousness and these shifts that are happening. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And I'll, I'll put, I'll make sure to put all, yeah. all of the information in the box below. Right, so, yeah. So you guys can link up with, um, with Jerome, uh, for any, any, if you want to do work, if you, your soul's drawn to him, then reach out, you know, uh, and stay connected and uh, drink a lot of water. <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> um, but yeah, Jerome, thank you so much. You do such a brilliant job of um, bringing that, the literally the feminine and masculine energetics together, unified. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm really, I'm just glad to connect with you and um, hope to stay connected. And um, I'm sure we yeah, will. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Barbados, Barbados sounds so nice right now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, here is, yeah. It, energy over here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really interesting energy here. Um, so I, I, I plan to post a lot more videos of different locations and you know, share share that energy with, with yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And thank you because you you just you, you did inspire me. I, I you know with the light language, like I'm so glad I'm so glad that that spirit yeah, brought that. Yeah, sure. express it. Like allow it to, Beautiful. you know, express it through through um, however you feel most in tune to express it. And it. Yeah, the light language, it, it definitely changed a lot of my own perceptions um, in terms of the application on, on a lot of things, right? So, yeah. Right. Yeah, so thank you very much for having me here. Thank you so much for being here. This is great. So, yeah. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Sure. Almost. Almost. Right there. <laughs> yeah.